This session is on changing climate and the learning objective is to understand the pattern of climate change during the quaternary period. Now this session is not about explanation, this session is just about describing. We're just going to see um, what has happened over the years. Now we're looking at changing climate, climate, so let's go through quickly again what the difference is between weather and climate. Now the weather is what you can see outside at a certain point. So you glance outside and it's sunny or it's rainy. Climate is where you take the weather over months or over a season and then describe what it's like on average. So on one day you could go to the Sahara Desert and the Sahara Desert could have rain and it could be cold. But the climate of the Sahara Desert is always warm and dry. So the climate is what you have on average and the weather is what you have on one occasion. So but this topic is called changing climate. We're going to be seeing how the average weather changes over years and years and years. Now, if we have a glance at this slide, we can see that Britain had a very, very different climate in the past. If you go back 20,000 years ago to the end of the last ice age, we had woolly mammoths within our country and also saber-toothed tigers. This proves that Britain's climate is continually changing. Now let's have a look at the um, subject of this lesson. Let's have a look and see what the pattern of climate change has been. Now if we have a look at this graph, um, this shows how climate has changed over the last five and a half million years. Now on the y-axis over here you've got the temperature. The dotted line is 0 degrees. This would be 2 degrees centigrade and then these are minus figures, um, freezing temperatures. Now if we track what's happened to the temperature of the earth you can see on average it's been just over freezing. On average here three and a half million years ago it is freezing. And then if we come forwards towards the current day, you can see on average that the world has been getting colder over the last five and a half million years. The other thing that we can notice is if we look at these warm spikes and cold spikes, as we come towards the present day, they've been getting wider. The spikes of warmth and cold have been getting more extreme towards the present day. So um, what are the trends this graph shows? Well, actually, the world has been getting colder over millions of years and um, the warm and cold periods have been getting more extreme. Now, you'll notice here it says the quaternary period. All the quaternary period is is just the last 2.6 million years. And that is the bit that the exam board are interested in. Let's plough forward. Um, this graph doesn't show you millions of years, it just shows what's happened over about the last 450,000 years. Now again, this is the temperature on the y-axis, these are positive figures, and going down to minus 5 and minus 10, these are negative um, figures. And as time has gone on, you can see it gets warmer, then it gets colder. It gets warmer, it gets colder, warmer, colder, warmer, colder, warmer and colder and warmer. Now a posh word for this is to say that the temperature is fluctuating or it fluctuates. All this posh word means is it goes up and down. Now every time that the temperature is above zero degrees for hundreds of thousands of years, we call it an interglacial and that means a warm period of time. And if we look at the present day, we can see that the temperature on average is above freezing. So we are in an interglacial. Where the temperature is below the naught, it is freezing. We call these periods of time glacials. Another name for glacials is ice ages. So we left the last ice age about 10,000 years ago. And so during this period of time here, we'd have had saber-toothed tigers, woolly mammoths, um, in Britain and parts of the country would have been kilometres underneath ice. 
because we're now in this warmer period of time, um, that's not the case anymore. So if we have a look at this task at the bottom, um, let's imagine it was an exam question and you were trying to describe this gra graph. We could say something like um, temperature goes in a cycle. Um, the cycle is that it gets warmer and then colder and warmer and colder over the years. The temperature has fluctuated upwards and downwards and about every 100,000 years um, we have alternated between a glacial period, which is the warmer periods, and the interglacial periods, um, sorry, the glacial <laughs> periods are the colder periods, and the interglacial periods, which are the warmer periods. Um, temperature at its highest has been about six or seven degrees centigrade on average, and temperatures at their lowest have been about minus six or minus seven degrees centigrade um, at their average. Now let's move on and look at time periods on an even smaller scale than this. Now this graph shows what has happened in the world since 1860. And you can see that in this current interglacial that we are in, the temperature on average, it has fluctuated, but it's showing a trend of getting warmer and warmer and warmer over the years during this interglacial. Now, Scientists are slightly worried and they're slightly concerned that um, the Earth is getting warmer than it's ever been in a past interglacial. And this could be because of the impact of humans. And so this te these temperatures we're experiencing at the moment, global temperatures of 13 degrees centigrade, 14 degrees centigrade, um, these are very warm compared to the past. Now, let's imagine um, we were going to uh, do this one. Um, current warmer temperatures on Earth um, are not unusual. Yes, because we're in an interglacial and the fluctuation of temperatures means we'd expect it to be warmer. However, if we look at these temperatures, they are warmer than previous interglacials.